Hi, it's Ashida Andre with the Red Carpet Report, and I'm here at the NAACP Awards Luncheon. Nice to meet you. So tell us about this wonderful project that you two beautiful ladies wrote about. Well, it's, 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 good. it's, called, <laughs> it's called Seasons of Love. Yes. It was executive produced by the wonderful Taraji P. Henson, and she gave black women a break. Uh, it was directed by a black woman, Princess Monique. It's a love story set in New York, and it's about the scenes of love. And um, we had um, Taraji and, of course, Latoya Luckett from Destiny Child. We had Gladys Knight, the awesome Gladys Knight, and Method Man. And um, we're just really happy to be recognized. We're glad Lifetime gave us an opportunity, Taraji gave us an opportunity, and we're glad the NAACP is recognizing that. So we're really happy. It's almost like, what is, what is that word, a trifecta? Yeah. You know, you have the Lifetime and you have all the women involved and you have the NAACP. It's like the culmination of like a dream. So it's really, it's really humbling, a little overwhelming, but just a beautiful experience. I, I'm so excited for you two. Now take us through the Seasons of Love, through the way that you guys are interpreting it in the movie. Well, every relationship can have different seasons. You can have like a spring when something is new and it's bubbling, and then you can have a summer when things get hot. And you know, you either get with the, the heat or you get out of the heat, you know, and then you can have the fall where things may seem like they're dying, but if you give it enough love, you can have life. And if you don't give it, you can go into winter. But if you take care of it in the winter, you can come back to spring and come back again. Nice. You anything you want to add to that? Oh no, that's perfectly said right there. Take care of your relationships through every season of life. Now, is it about really how to take care of it, or does it show how to navigate through the seasons when you go through a rough patch? We actually have different couples going through different seasons. It's an ensemble cast. Okay. So we have a couple that is in the winter of their relationship, a couple that's in the spring of their relationship, one that's going through the heat of the summer of their relationship, and one that's falling apart. For fall? Yeah, for the fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I, I'm so excited for you guys. Congratulations. And where can they find you on social media for our, for our online audience so they can follow your careers, they can follow the show, the Lifetime, Seasons of Love, and other projects that you have coming out as well? Absolutely. I'm at Sharon Brathwaite official page because there's a lot of Sharon Brathwaite's because Brathwaite's a very common vision name but from Barbados. So I'm Sharon Brathwaite official page. MZ Ms. Sharon B at Twitter for Ms. Sharon B at Instagram. <laughs> Mine is relatively simple. I'm just Perez Owino. You type it, you find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And may I ask, where are you from? I'm from Kenya. Okay. And my family's from Jamaica and Barbados. And my mom's from Trinidad. <laughs> yes! I'm going to tell you something about this project that also is, I think is really super powerful, especially in this month, and especially for NAACP. I'm Kenyan, she's from the Caribbean. Princess Monique, the director, is African American, so is Taraji P. Hansen and the cast. When you look at it, it's really the entire, Af the entire diaspora came together to make this happen. Because even Megan, who was working with us at Lifetime, is African American. So it's really, this is really, for me, the NAACP and this project really epitomizes what the NAACP stands for. So that's one of the reasons I think we're very excited to be here. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm excited that you guys are here and I'm talking to you. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you too. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. And be sure to watch the NAACP Image Awards February 6th on TV One.